if you love red meat, let's look at what the science says. Biology, microbiology, biochemistry, and anthropology versus what you might be reading in Carnivore Today newsletter. Hi, I'm Keith. For those of you who are new here, I'm a seven-year cancer survivor. I've studied over 4,000 clinical papers on the root cause of chronic disease, and I have personally reversed all five of my chronic diseases, completely, with no medication. If you want to make small health tweaks, click like and follow. If you want to make some major changes, I'll work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Just DM me or get on my calendar. Let's dig in. First, let's look at this from an anthropological standpoint. If you go back 8 million years, when we first climbed out of the trees and we were virtually identical to, let's say, chimpanzees, our diet was mostly plant-based. If you want to see what we ate back then, just look at chimpanzees in the wild today. The similarities in our DNA is dramatically similar, between 98 and 99% similar. And if you look at the chimpanzees in the wild, they eat some red meat, but not a lot. Now let's look at this from a microbiology biochemistry standpoint. When you eat red meat, your body converts the amino acid methanine into homocysteine. This is just an intermediate step before your body then converts the homocysteine into other proteins that your body needs to function. Two of the essential ingredients to converting homocysteine into those other proteins are vitamin B9, folate, and betaine. Where do you find those? Not in red meat. They contain zero of those nutrients. Where do you get folate and betaine? Well, you get them from vegetables. What happens when you don't get those ingredients to make that conversion? Well, your body starts having elevated homocysteine levels. Homocysteine levels are proven to irritate artery linings, which aids in the formation and accumulation of arterial plaque. Do I eat red meat? I sure do, but not a lot. And it's only grass-fed, grass-finished beef. If you're eating red meat, Make sure you're not going strict 100% carnivore. Make sure you're getting your vegetables. If you like these videos, please like and share, and we'll see you again soon.